Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here. I'm killing time on a long car ride. And the subject's been toiling in my head the past week. Sorry for the glare or whatnot, but, or the odd recording angle. But Tide Pods. It makes me shudder at the stupidity the internet has done with this. And this is not the first time the internet has done a challenge. I mean, there's been hundreds of them. The lighting yourself on fire, the, the salt and the ice challenge, I mean, all this other stuff. It's just one of those ones. Cinnamon challenge, the, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, the only one I legitimately saw and had a purpose was the ice bucket. And that was for ALS. And that was to help simulate the fact that, to give you an idea of what it's like to have that debilitating, numbing feel. But, Tide Pods detergent you guys are eating bleach in chemical soap that is poison to your body you dense motherfuckers it's like I mean I don't know people are like well you know you didn't warn them it's Darwinism people should eat them and whatnot I'm like yeah but really how how stupid does the internet have to be to be like oh this looks like it's fun I should eat it I've seen videos of people eat, and I know it's shock value and it's people trying to get clicks and everything like that, but oh my god, how stupid do you have to be? It's got bleach in it. That burns you. Oh my god. So many people have been hospitalized and everything, and then I'm like, okay, you know, people will learn from the stupidity. No, no, no. I came across a post on Tumblr actually defending these people of how dare you shame them for this. How dare you? And I'm like, excuse me? It's not their fault that they do it. It's the challenge culture. So we have stuff like rape culture and male patriarch culture, and now it's the challenge culture. And I'm like, we, we've reached a whole new level of stupid. We actually have people defending people who are being stupid, stating the fact that they can't help that they're doing this because it's peer pressure. That all these challenges, and that's the only way to fit in, and they're young, and they're stupid, and they can't help it. Really? It's... It's, it's, just, it's just a special level of stupid. It really is. So, loud and clear, on the channel, don't eat Tide Pods. For the love of God. Don't eat anything poisonous. Jesus Christ, it's an internet joke. Leave it at that. There was one that did make me laugh where people were showing pictures of molten metal because if you guys like Tide Pod, we have spicy honey. That that made me laugh because it was meant to be a joke, not, hey, I should go eat some liquid metal. <sighs> See, at this point in my life, to say that I've seen dumber things, I have, not by much. For the love of God, people, stop eating Tide Pods. Fuck. Go eat cake or pie or pizza or a bacon cheeseburger. They should have the challenge of who can eat the most cheese balls. And actually, I think Ninja Brian's wife had that new challenge. One of the, uh, oh God, I can't think of the brand. It's a giant tub of cheese balls from Walmart. So you start eating one and you don't stop until you're done with the container. I could do that challenge. Uh, for an Aaron's sister could do that challenge. So, guys, that's all I got. I had to that, get that off my chest, a little mini rant. Seriously, I don't care how much of a peer pressure thing it is. Maybe the peer pressure should be on the fact of not doing it.